What is going on guys, and Jason Co5 Gundam here, and today I'm going to be going to be reviewing the high grade Gundam G Lucifer from the Reconquista in G series. Now this guy I love now I like the design, I like the features, but I'm just cringing because I need to call it a Gundam. Well after all to be fair the features are amazing the proportions and the aesthetics are amazing but I just cringe because I need to call this a Gundam I'm not hating on it though and yeah I kinda like this color scheme with like a very 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 pale green with purple and pink and uh it's a pretty nice but pretty weird mobile suit. Now the for stickers you have the black trim on the head. The eye is a plas is a piece of plastic. The little verniers on the shoulders and the giant pink ones inside each of the skirt funnels. So articulation is this guy's most weak point because the head's design, now you have this chunk of plastic at the back and there is a piece of collar here so it just stops it from going up so this is as most as you're gonna get and going down well rotation isn't a problem, you can rotate it side to side but just going up and going down is like a bummer and you cannot move the model eye now, the shoulders, they can pop out, they can rotate, well I replaced the polycap because the original ones are sucks. They can move out that far, rotate below the shoulder, there's a double joint at the elbow but it, you do not get much, like as usual as the G Reconquista kits. The wrists will rotate and pop off and wiggle. Now the waist, you can rotate and crunch very good back and forth. Now there's no front skirts or no side skirts. But there's a huge chunk here with the skirt funnels at the back skirts. They each move out on hinges and they can move out of the way pretty well. Now. I'm going to show you the right leg because the left leg has the beam savers mounted. Now, the legs can go forwards, backwards, outwards not that far because it has ball joints for some strange reason. So, it can, it can still rotate kinda, but I will not count that as rotation. Anyways, the knees are double joints here, you get quite a bit out of them. Now the armor can move, the feet can move forward and back, side to side, nothing on the actual foot though. They can rotate all the way around and this can, the toes can fold up. Now I'm not actually fold them up because I don't want him to stand because you actually have a stand. With an adapter you need to plug it onto the crotch. So if they gave us this, might as well use it. So that is the articulation of the G Lucifer. Accessories. Now you do not get any handheld beam rifles, but you do get two sets of hands. Now you have these open palms and you have these closed fists. Now you saw the beam sabers popping off from the left thigh. They can each be held in the hand by the hands. And you do get two really, really, really thin beams. So you can just pluck them on. And now he's holding a, he's holding a beam saber. Now the real attraction is the skirt funnels. Now I might have to be rough here because the skirt funnels are really, really hard to dis dislodge. So you just grab this pink port and just wiggle it out.
now mounted on pretty securely, which is a good thing. <laughs> and let me move the G Lucifer out of the way. Now each of these you have one giant effect part which is used for simulating its shooting. But I feel like might as well act as a sword. Now you do get six of these smaller beams to simulate it like the smaller beam emitters shooting. Now you instructions recommend you to put two each into the funnels. But if you want to be a crazy lunatic, you can put all six into one single funnel, which makes it a lot crazier. Now, display options, no problem, because Bandai provided you three stands for each of the funnels. Now, what you're gonna do is you sorry position the Y here and you just slide them into the funnels which apparently I'm doing in the wrong way there you go now it can be just flying around preparing to shoot or you can just do something crazy like this it works all the same for the three funnels And there you have it, the three funnels on display. Now I'm going to re remove all the effect parts just to show you how it can be displayed with the G Lucifer. Well you have to be careful because these stands can tumble over if you're not careful. So. That's actually all the accessories included in the G Lucifer. To sum up my review, let's do some comparisons. Now, since this guy has a mono eye, might as well bring in the grays. This is the Ritter, well, basically the same as any grays. And why not bring in the Gundam Barbatos? while it's V even falls off. I was trying to replicate the final scene when it appeared in the episode 25. So it's just squatting down. So you can see the actual Gundam design compared to this. Well this guy is underrated because of his design. Nobody including me likes this guy to be a Gundam. But I risk I respect the choice of the name and I respect the aesthetics, the features and the color and the actual design of this guy. So the name aside, I actually really like this kit. So thank you all so much for watching. If you did like it, please be sure to drop a like, comment and also subscribe for more gaming videos, model reviews and all that kind of stuff. And yeah, why not subscribe to Open Prime? And thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace out, guys. Bye-bye.